forensic examination is conducted on a, a handwritten note found in the car of the disappeared Rodlin Amwadako from her supposed kidnappers has proved to be that of her husband, Dr. Wilberforce Sankroma Agri, police prosecutors found new evidence linking the KUSC lecturer on the provisional charge of kidnapping of his wife, a staffer at the Lands Commission. My colleague Ohemeng Teria, who was in court today, joins us uh, with more. Ohemeng, uh, tell us more on this new evidence that appears to link the accused to the disappearance of his wife. Thank you, Aisha. The uh, issue of uh, police investigating and uh, linking Dr. Weberforce Agri has been the topmost uh, priority of police prosecutors and investigators uh, since uh, the wife, Roderick Amwadako, a staffer at the Lands Commission, went missing on August 30th. Uh, so today in court, uh, the prosecution led by Chief Inspector Benjamin Moore, Ankara, uh, told the court uh, that uh, police have completed forensic investigations into a supposed, uh, uh, you know, a note uh, left behind in the vehicle of uh, mixing with an Amwada home by the alleged uh, kidnappers. And that details of that handwritten uh, point to the fact that uh, the husband uh, who is standing trial at the Asoka uh, District Court, uh, Dr. Wilberforce and Chroma Agri, also of the KNUST uh, Department of uh, Petroleum, is actually the one uh, who uttered uh, those words. I had the opportunity to uh, peep through uh, the uh, you know, note, the said note uh, from the kidnappers, and it reads, uh, hello, sir, you know our number, uh, call and pay the ransom. It's as simple as that. Uh, so at the court uh, today, uh, the prosecution you know, uh, brought uh, the copy of the supposed uh, note, uh, hand note, handwritten note at uh, the court. It's something that defense counsel actually objected to. Uh, but uh, the court said once a police investigation that have, has actually established uh, the author of that note, uh, they will continue to uh, move forward and hear the case. Uh, so uh, defense lawyer, uh, Frederick Kankam was not happy of the fact that in the case has suffered uh, several adjournments at the time that the defense counsel expected prosecution uh, to be fast, especially when the courts has denied uh, Dr. Weberforce Agri a bail on several occasions. Don't forget, uh, first, it was the Asuka District Court uh, which denied him bail. And later, the defense counsel also filed for a bail application at the Kumasi High Court, uh, which was actually uh, rejected or turned down by the Kumasi High Court on the grounds that uh, police have fake new evidence. Uh, so in court today, Dr. Robert Force was in court, uh, as a police prosecution gave details of uh, that handwritten note. He, at a point, continued to nod his head. And when the court also uh, said the case has been adjourned uh, to January 14, 2022, he also nodded his head uh, in that regard. And so it was a park court, mainly represented by uh, friends of Rudalyn Amwada from the Lands Commission and also Institute of Surveyors uh, who were in court in their numbers today, Aisha. Uh, what was the reaction of the accused when the police made these revelations, Ohemi? In court today, uh, Dr. Weberforce Agri was very quiet as usual and he paid attention uh, throughout the court proceedings. And when the police prosecution started giving details of the handwritten note, uh, he was seen, you know, once in a while, he raised his head and nod his head, you know, and then looked uh, into the section, uh, the part where the presiding magistrate was sitting and continued nodding his head uh, throughout uh, the court uh, hearing. Uh, but one thing that uh, remains clear in court today was the fact that uh, the court uh, asked uh, the prosecution when it can make definite uh, pronouncement, for instance, on when hearing uh, will start or when they can start a case management uh, conference. So the uh, prosecution told the court today that the Attorney General's office has said notice it wants to start prosecutorial uh, duties in court. So probably when the court 
uh, it says on 20 uh, on 14th January 2022, it is likely that the Attorney General's Office will take over uh, prosecution of the uh, case. Mohamenteria is our man on this beat for us, and he's been bringing us updates from the court.